Hey girl, hey. Today, 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 guys, we are having a Chick-fil-A salad. I hope y'all guys doing okay today. Let us pray. Father God, we want to thank you for this food. Blessed don't have in your name we pray. Amen. So guys, oh, I am hungry. I already have something on the side right here, baby. I got some grilled chicken. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how y'all guys doing? How y'all been? Let me put this little tortilla chips first. And then these papa seed. I don't know which one of y'all, or if this is one of y'all favorite salad at Chick-fil-A or whatever, but this is one of mine. With the avocado lemon lime ranch. y'all guys doing all right i hope all of y'all guys are blessed i don't know if i mentioned it last time but i see a little bit more subscriber and i thank y'all guys for subscribing guys don't forget you can comment down below we can chit chat for a second or two you know that it is what it is it's, you know we're all human we bleed the same so Comment, baby, and subscribe, and share this video with your friend, Paw Paw, Grandma, whoever. As long as they can help somebody out. I like to make sure my salad is all the way. You see that? All the way, baby. Okay. That looks like it been shook. Okay. Baby, we we ain't leaving nothing behind up in here. Nada, like they say. Nothing. But I had this um creamy salsa. I really never had this. I only had the other one. I'm gonna put that to the side. Oh, and of course some chicken and I got a chicken like a chicken breast right here cut this up mix Crazy right now. Uh, you know what? I really want y'all guys to see what I'm doing. You know, just gonna. Mm. Mm. So for our drink, guys, we have in our detox tea. I made some ribs. I mean, some beef earlier. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it's this with that. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Right. Salad, where you going? Come to my mouth. Mm. some great food. Mm -hmm. Not today. Mm -hmm. I just want to season it up overnight. That big bite. Guys, I seen Q to Q. Eat with Q. Eat some eggs the other day. I was like, you know what? You need to make me a mukbang right there with just eggs. That would be good. Mm. With some garlic sauce. Mm. 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 Mm
Excuse me. Oh no, that'll be good. Uh, what you call this thing? Creamy salsa. Have you guys ever been to a restaurant, right? The yeah, guys, I've been there a few times. I try the food. You order a particular item that I guess is kind of popular in the, inside a restaurant. Next thing you know, you go back, you order something else, right? Tell me why. The order that you had ordered, you decided to try something different. And then the order that you had ordered, baby, you disappointed. And you be like, and coming back and had no mouth. But they did that one particular item. That would be the only thing that I would go back to this particular restaurant to. I mean, I would go back and eat. Because some places like that. They um they good at one item or two, maybe three, and that's they that might be their best seller. So I'd be so disappointed. I was like, damn, I wanted everything to be so good. Chicken, honey. Yeah, I don't like that much dressing on my um on my salad because lettuce be looking like they want to go ahead and just drown themselves in the taste like you eat it more dressing than anything else anyways so here's on my big bite y'all mm. mm -hmm. Restaurants out here in Houston starting to get a little overrated. And then on top of that, you know, you go to a restaurant, want to buy you some good old seafood. And baby, they want to give you this small snow crab, cream cat crab. And you be looking like, I know I just spent some money on this thing. I know everything is high right now, but dang, if you could save your coins by going to the store and buying your own stuff, do that. Because these prices in these restaurants, out of control, out of control.
Um, And then look, you get salad stuck all over your teeth. Is there, there. What y'all think about love and life? If it's in couples and does it look like they be they be doing the most? Mm. I know you lying. Baby, I have missed the whole bite. What happened? Them sure ate the damn great food. Just disrespectful to that. Mm. All right. I got leather stuck all over my mouth. But guys. Oh, wait. Everything been so good. Right now, I'm going to give you guys a brief thing that I'm doing with myself right now. I've been um, working out. Um, just pacing myself. First thing I had to do was um, my eating habit. Baby. You know how they say you got to take it one day at a time. And sometimes you got to stay away from people, places, and things. That's my relationship with food right now, honey. I had to stay away from certain stuff that I love. And just certain stuff that I want. I had to portion that down. And... Don't get me wrong, I'm still working on it as we speak. Um, been doing a little workout, walking, and then after that, I've been kind of, like I say, if I want something sweet, take a fruit, excuse me, take a fruit and do that. Or oh, if not, there's a lot of stuff now online that you can actually look up and put your own twist to it. Like if you want like some bread, you can do like some kind of sauce, of banana, something. But, you know, my advice to you, if you're struggling with your weight or if you want to start losing weight, just, I always say just take it one day at a time, one step at a time. You're not going to be perfect. <laughs> and you got to have a mindset of you're not trying to compete. You're not trying to be a bodybuilder. You're not trying to be a uh, uh, Serena, baby. You know, you're just trying to take care of yourself up here and in here. And, of course, all that. All that. All that. So, so just keep on pushing. Everything is going to be all right. Um, I always say this. Put God first and everything will follow. In the meantime, i see you guys next time. Remember, comment, subscribe. Share this video, girl. What are you doing?